This video will cover the installation of high panel and high panel light. Since they share the same installation process, we'll work with high panel today. Before getting started, it's important for you to know that installation involves handling high voltage welding. Please be careful. Hire a qualified electrician if you're not comfortable with the installation. Install high panel requires 220 voltage. And note that not everyone's home wiring is the same. This may vary by home age and welding type. Some motor homes may not have a neutral wire, however, high panel installation requires a neutral wire at this time. Here are some tools you may need. Number one, the flathead screwdriver. Next, Philip head screwdriver and pliers for removing wires sheathing and straightening the wires. And voltage detector. Your hyperpanel screen and flush mounted module are packaged individually. Sometimes the two packages may be put into one pack. Unbox the pack and open the high panel package. You will see the screen and its menu beneath. Keep it, it will tell you how to complete initial settings. Next is the module package. Open it, here you can see the flush mounted module and its menu. And it will be very helpful during installation. Next are the screws and silicone washers. The latter usually won't be needed. The first thing you must do is to turn off the circuit breaker and remember to use the voltage detector to double check the power is off before you start wiring and installation. Now you can identify the wires. We have blue neutral wire here, line wire may be red and carries power into high panel, and here are yellow L2 low wire and red L1 low wire. They carry power out to your lights. Note that your wire colors may be different with ours here. The wire need to have stripped and straight ends. Strip the wire by removing their plastic sheathing. The exposed ends should be about 8mm. If the ends of wire are bent out of shape, use pliers to straighten them. Now you can grab a flush mounted module. We are ready to connect the wires. We'll start by inserting the neutral wire into end terminal and tighten the screw. Now screw the brown line wire into the L and L wire into the L1 and L2. Check all the wires are in the proper place and secure. Test by tugging. Plug the RJ45 network cable to the Ethernet port if you need to use the wired network. Next, you can go to your circuit breaker and turn the power back on. Press the button to check the lights are working. If the lights do not turn on or off, turn the breaker off and check the wire connection. When the lights work, turn on break again so you can move to install the flush mounted module. Select the proper screw fit in your electric box. If the box is too deep in the wall, use silicone washer to cover the recessed gap. Or you can use two or more of them together until they are thick enough to be flush with the wall or less than 1mm extended. Insert a screw into the hole of the both washer and electric box and turn the screw clockwise with a screwdriver. Do not fully tighten the screws. The screw head must stick out at least 3mm from the wall surface. Push wire back into the electric box as far as possible. Make sure that the module goes the right way up before mounting it to the box. Twist the screw in and ensure it is flush with the wall. Tighten the screws. Take the hyperpanel screen, hook it on the top and snap it on the bottom. Give it a few seconds to power on. You will know the installation is successful when the Acapella logo displays on the front. This video does not cover everything. For more information, you can go to our ticket website or contact our technical support there. Thank you for watching. We hope you can have an amazing experience with Acapella.